about Earth, baby. Let's talk about Earth, baby. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things it can be. Let's talk about Earth. Totally, that's super kind. <laughs> lots and lots of Earth. So we are getting a lot of motivation in that grounding, conservative energy. We're moving away from willy-nilly thinking to solidifying plans and creating foundations. So today, December 12th, the moon moves into Capricorn and it then for all day and into the evening, it is conjunct with Mercury and Capricorn. So the moon in Capricorn conjunct with um, Mercury in Capricorn is going to square off with Virgo, square off with the North Node in Virgo. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that there is something that we, it's, it's like there's a desire to have this and create this strong foundation right now. And it's very, very emotionally motivated. To, to get an outcome, create that goal, solidify that goal, stabilize that goal, commit to that goal. And it's emotionally motivated. So anytime we align ourselves with our emotion, this truly deeply there, it, it is about setting boundaries, it's about having really intense conversations. It's about making plans and commitments, super amazing energy. So today there will be a strong desire to create structure stabilize your thinking and it will be of utmost importance um, to become clear as to what you need and actually make a firm commitment. I cannot emphasize that enough because this will be emotionally motivated. There will be an agreement. There will be something that you will need to talk about. Perhaps there is something right now in your life. There is a, there's a deficiency. There's, you need something, you want it, um, but you need to talk about it. You need to get it off your chest. You need to be hopeful in it. It's like you're holding back something from somebody because you're afraid of their response to it. Uh, very Capricorn energy. Unless they absolutely understand the outcome, they will keep it in and bottle it up, and then they'll pop like a cork eventually. <laughs> Um, so it could be something that in the past, it usually, when you became this vulnerable in energy, you didn't get your outcome. So you'll want to try to keep that in, but there is a need to break free from that prison that you're creating from yourself mentally and talk it through. I see good energy coming from all of this. This is transformative energy moving forward energy. This isn't about fighting to get what you want. If you just have the cojones to talk about it, I believe that many of you are going to easily get it. It can be a harmonious flow. Where the, where the misfire is in this energy is in your mind, in your fear. Um, be, be very mindful of the fact that you're scared to make these changes and you're being too conservative and too reserved. Um, this is, there's an emotional outcome to this that is in the beginning stage and you need to be vulnerable because anytime we're in a beginning stage of anything, it's a, there's a vulnerability in that but it's a seed that we need to plant and we need to put a lot of energy into making it grow right now. And this is the soil to plant it in. I completely believe it. So um, you may be a little defensive if someone desires to question the way you want to move forward, um, especially when it has something to do with how you want to do it. What is the routine that's involved in getting what you want? So for some of you, I, okay, so for me, every single weekend, I pour my whole life, heart, and soul into doing these readings. You know, if somebody comes into my life, they would have to be open to the dedication that I have toward my channel. Something like that. There's a routine. There's a structure that I've created. Or I would have to learn 
to modify my dedication toward my channel. There's a compromised energy that's going to need to be established in that. Mercury and Capricorn conjunct with the moon and Capricorn. Earth energy. This is gorgeous, gorgeous energy. I want to talk a little bit about what this can mean. So, you know, this is about... This is about laying those bricks one by one and, and working cohesively with others to get what you want, delegating what you want. You have to be honest, you have to be sincere, and you really have to be goal-oriented in order for you to, to really create the structure that you intend to. So Mercury and Capricorn conjunct with the moon means, and it's sextiling Venus and sextiling Neptune, very beautiful water energy pouring into this. This is why I see this card, this beautiful card. This is the hopes of water energy. This is the, the, the seed. This is the newness of it. This is the newness of emotional fulfillment. So as we start to create structure, make plans, talk about the future. Um, we really start to let people know how we emotionally feel. We turn a lot of this energy around for the better quite easily. So in this energy, ideas will be associated with earth and align you with water elements. So let's talk about that because obviously we can't have a healthy earth without water feeding and the grass and the trees and everything. So these energies are beautiful together. They stabilize each other. They work easily with each other. I think sometimes the emotional energies can be a little tumultuous for an earth-based energy. It can be a little unstable, but I think their goals are primarily the same. So you're going to find this energy and this in water and earth really flowing into you if you're super receptive to energy. Um, this will be a, this will stabilize a river of emotion and a beautiful, calm and serene lake will form. So it's like you go down that river and it's all tumultuous and then you get to just serenity and beauty and peace and you're floating on an inner tube in this gorgeous lake and it's peaceful and the temperature's perfect. Like that's what you're going to feel like as you process today and as you align yourself and with your emotions and your uh, foundation, what you really want. This is about combining the life you want with someone and it may increase your actual tangible and, um, and uh, monetary value. So, it, you know, sometimes when we combine ourselves, we can, you can take some of the, the, um, you know, if, we, if somebody's paying half of rent, that's half, you know, that's half you don't have to. And so you could be feeling that way. Remember that this is walking toward outcomes, right? This isn't actually today. This is getting you, we're, we're, we're going through the transit of Mercury and Capricorn. And as, our, as we're mentally processing our environment, we're trying to align ourselves with this more, with some more stability and Earth-based values. Um, Pluto and Capricorn is still going to square off with Uranus and square off with um, Mars and Libra. So you, many of you have challenged me and said, you know, I often look at a lot of these like big shootings and these war type of activities as just very fueled energies and negative vibration by the universe. Now, we all can choose the high and the low vibrations. So when Pluto squares off with Uranus and Aries, that means we need to empower ourselves to individuate ourselves. We need to create our own opinion. And we need to, on a daily basis, work through our, our journey. And we need to accept challenge. Pluto and Capricorn can also mean that... Um, it deals with disaster and terrorism and structures and governments and trying to monopolize and to and to make them fall. It's a it's an incredibly scary energy globally. Individually, it's about personal empowerment. And so um, I see a lot of, you know, it's like I like to try to stay out of mundane astrology, but I can't help but take a look at it because um, when Pluto in Capricorn is squaring off with Uranus and Aries, 
it is just that energy where war is possible. War is possible and it is against structure and organization and dominating and controlling type organizations that try to take away the power of individuals. Super important that you understand that as we're seeing this world of hidden agendas and good versus evil and we're starting to see people trying to take away a power through, you know, really honestly eliminating others, you really got to take a look at what is motivating that, what's feeling that, you know, we all can choose any energy we want. We're, we have freedom of will on this planet. We are influenced. We are deeply influenced and, and, that, and that energy motivates us to make choices, but inevitably we're the ones who choose the choice we choose. So don't ever think that when I say, oh, a shooting was caused by Uranus and Aries squaring off with Pluto and Capricorn, I, I do see it that way, but I see those individuals fell into a lower vibration, fell into collective thinking, and were led to um, do something that had a terroristic uh, impact to us because that is the energy source that's out there. Um, today, you know, a lot there is. Sorry, I had to move my leg. Um, today, this, you know, there, there's. The high vibration is we get to concentrate on solidifying our foundation, and through some opposition, we get to find that through some processing it, through aligning ourselves with where we lose power. Um, people get very vulnerable in energy like that. And when people get vulnerable and fear motivates their actions, it, it's everybody deals with that different, right? Everybody deals with that. And when you have Uranus squaring off with Pluto like this, and uh, we've had a lot of confusing energy and we haven't known which direction to go. We can easily be led. Capricorn energy is allowing us to break free and get our personal power back. But that's still through fear and being vulnerable. So there's still some weird issues floating around out there. We got to embrace and get some control of, and this is mentally processing our own limitations, our own fears, Plutonian based uh, stuff, right? Because uh, Pluto is, is a dark place. It's the underworld. It's where we lose control. It's where we hide, where we suppress, where we retreat from the sick thoughts we have. And, and, and when it's, when it's, it, you know, when it's squaring off with Uranus, that is unexpected crap coming out of us and motivating us to take some actions that may not be ideally um, aligning us with personal power. So anyhow, guys, uh, high vibration. Okay, Mercury and Capricorn in conjunct with the moon and Capricorn because I had all that heavy crap. I got to do something nice. Um, just align yourself with the sextile that's happening in Venus and Neptune healing, beautiful water energy combining with Earth. Envision, uh, you know, your lawn being watered in the dead of summer and it stays green. Um, envision you watering your plants on that three o'clock you know, four o'clock afternoon when the sun is just going down and, you know, they're kind of droopy and then you give them water and that they get stronger and their roots get fed. Really attached to that energy and don't get lost in the other side of this energy because, yes, power and control struggles are exceptionally possible when we have this this all this earth energy being stimulated anyhow guys thank you so much for watching annette's astrology corner and i look forward to talking to you guys again on the next astrological event